Hello, it's Andy from Keyword Insights, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the Hub Report from uh, in your Google Sheets or Excel doc. Before we move on to that, I just want to remind you what a, a keyword cluster is, and then comparing it to what the Hub is, so we, I can show you what we're trying to achieve. So a cluster is basically where we're telling you that all these keywords can be targeted on the same page. So if before you were wondering whether hemp and weed should be on a different page to um, what is it useful, we're saying no, all of these keywords can be targeted on one page because we have actively pulled that information from search engines and we can tell you that most results that rank for this keyword also rank for this keyword and this keyword is in the same page ranks for them. What we then wanted to do, and this is especially important when you're planning your information architecture or when you're planning your content calendar, is, okay, are there any other clusters similar to this that are actually a different cluster, we need a different page, but they are similar so that we can internally link to them or that so we can plan all this content together. And that is what the hub is. So think of the hub as a clustering of your clusters. So what we're trying to do is work out, is there any other clusters uh, in, in this large document here that what's hemp is very similar to? And it's worth giving you a bit of logic behind how this has worked out. So we're using an algorithm. And what we're trying to say is, or what we're looking at is we're looking at the clusters and we're trying to work out whether on a word vector diagram, how similar is this cluster to another cluster in terms of its intent? And what I mean by that is we're not looking at synonyms. We're actually looking at the fundamental meaning behind that word. And you can actually adjust the hub strength within the tool itself. By default, it's set at medium. And you don't need to know this, but what that means is we're looking for any cluster that has at least a 70% similarity in its meaning, its fundamental meaning, with another cluster. Hard is going to be stronger than that, and soft is going to be even weaker than that. It's also worth noting at this point that the hub tab isn't to be used as gospel. It's just a guide to help you quickly find similar content pieces so that you can group them together, so you can plan your site plan where they sit on your site. You can even find internal linking opportunities very quickly, especially if you pull in the ranking insight. Uh, well, because when you drop down, uh, let's drop down benefits of CBD. When you drop this down, if they were to rank um, different URLs here, you can find very quickly content that you've got that can be internally linked to other content. Anyway, looking at the hub tab here, what we're saying is, and the hub name is always named after the cluster with the most volume. So ignore what the hub name is called. It's just simply a way to group them together. But what we're saying is there's there's all these similar things here, these similar topics that could all be written together as separate pieces, but ultimately internally linked to each other and housed under one central hub piece of content. So assuming here that these are long form articles and not product pages, and a, a very quick way to ensure that is the case, always remember the filters are your friend. So what I would do uh, to interpret this report and to very quickly uh, find and map out my content calendar is I would pop over to the filters here, and then I would add a filter on for article. And then what I'm asking it to do is only show me the keywords that definitely trigger long form articles. And just a quick reminder how this works, how the um, context insight works, if you pull it through, if I just show you an example. What this means is one gram CBD out of the 10 results on Google, the top 10, zero are long form articles and 10 are product pages. So to rank that keyword, it needs to be a product page. Alternatively, this keyword, 1000 milligram CBD out of the 10 results on Google, three are articles long form articles and seven are product or category pages so that's how to interpret the context coming back to our hub if you remember i've just popped on a filter here and what i've popped on a filter is to ensure that the only things left in my pivot table are content-based ideas and so what i've got now is a whole list of keywords clusters that i know trigger long form articles so now when i drop benefits of cbd down i know that all the keywords under these trigger long form articles. So out of the 10 results on Google, benefits of CBD triggers nine, and that seems to make sense. So how I'd interpret this is I would write, and this wouldn't be the name of your hub piece of content, 
that I would write um, the ultimate guide to benefits of CBD, although I probably wouldn't call it that because we're all sick of ultimate guides, but the ultimate guide to benefits of CBD. And in that guide, I would talk about the benefits it has, why it has those benefits, um, of course, because of EAT, also taking into account any medical like knowledge out there and referencing that. But this would be an ultimate guide. And in it, I would touch upon um, the different types of CBD things you can get, gummies, etc. But what I would then do is internally link out from this main piece to CBD gummy benefits and benefits of CBD and THC together and CBD lip balm benefits. So what we're saying is we can have this one central overarching piece on the benefits of CBD, but it would link out to these what we call spoke pieces, which would also talk about specifically an article talking about the benefits of CBD gummies and specifically an article talking about why lip balm with CBD might be beneficial. This is another example where we have Scrape's TripAdvisor and we are using them, all the keywords they rank for, to find ideas. So again, if you wanted to basically rank for Hawaii vacation and everything to do with traveling to Hawaii for vacation, we can have all these subtopics. So we would have a guide on, and again, I've got I'm going to pop a filter on just to make sure I only have content based ideas because I'm going to plan my content. So now everything in here is very much content based. So when we drop these down, so if I drop down Hawaii vacation, uh, we know if we want to rank for Hawaii vacation and everything to do with it, here's all the subtopics we should talk about. So we would talk about the best Hawaiian island for families, why visit Hawaii. And remember, because these are different clusters, we know these should be all separate pages. So we could we, we would have the ultimate guide to go into Hawaiian vacation. Uh, and it would talk about all these things very briefly, but it would link out separately to very detailed blogs on why visit Hawaii why you should go and the reasons you would go. Then there'd be another article on planning a honeymoon to Hawaii. And there'd be another article on which island's best for families, etc., etc. So you can see you can very quickly plan uh, a content calendar here. And then what I would use is, or what I would do, is use another piece of software like um, you've got Miro or we use Lucid. And you can basically map your whole so i've mapped using this using the hubs and spokes and the clusters i've basically mapped out including the transactional keywords this whole site um this is going back to the cbd client here i've mapped out their whole site based on the fact that i know each cluster that appears in my research requires a page so i've mapped them out but what i've also done is start to map out the content hubs for their blog section. So this is their blog section here. And you can see, basically, I would have the how much CBD should I take, the complete guide. And this would be a massive guide, but it would link out to very specific articles on how much CBD for pain, can you overdose on it, CBD doses for depression, etc, etc. So it's a very quick way of using, looking at the hub and spokes, it's a very quick way to start mapping out your site and all the interrelated topics on something like Miro or Lucid or any other um, sort of mapping tool like that. And that's how I would interpret the hub tab. The other benefit, which I touched on briefly, is if you do bring in the rank insight, uh, you can add another thing in here and when you drop this down and drop this down you start to see if you could expand all of these actually you can start to see internal linking opportunities so where I've dropped that down you can start to see these pages could all start linking to if I go down to the next cluster these pages because this is best best island to visit and this is best oh that's the, I've got the two same ones there but when you put in the ranking page you can start to very quickly find uh, internal linking opportunities incidentally I might then include all results not just the blog results 
So then I can start seeing internal linking opportunities between products and blogs. The other thing I'm seeing here uh, is I'm seeing a mix of pages ranking here, which probably tells me there might be some cannibalization issues uh, because this should all be in one cluster. So this is perhaps something to look into as another port of call. Hope that helps. Let me know if you've got any questions.